Hey guys, I'm gonna read to you my story, Goldilocks and the Three Brachiosaurus. And afterwards, I'll show you how to draw a Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycep Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus? Am I saying it right? <laughs> One day, millions and millions and millions of years ago, a Pachycephalosaurus named Goldilocks went for a walk in the forest. She came to a very big house. I mean, it was huge! It was the biggest house she's ever seen. Gosh, I wonder who lives here. Maybe someone big and famous? I better find out. Knock. Knock. Maybe they can't hear me. I should knock harder. Knock. Knock. Crash! Oh no. Goldilocks' head went through the door. Whoops. Hello? Anyone here? Um, the door was open. Then Goldilocks saw three bowls of porridge on the table. Food? And no one's eating it? Oh god. Gosh, I can't let it go to waste. Ouch! This porridge is too hot. Yuck! This porridge is too cold. Ah, this porridge is just right. Goldilocks had finished eating and was feeling tired. Looking around, she saw another door. Yep. It was locked. Hmm, I wonder if anyone is behind this door. I better find out. Knock. Knock. Hmm, maybe they can't hear me. I should knock harder. Knock. Knock. Crash! Oh no, Goldilocks' head went through the door. Again! Oh, beds! And gosh, I'm so tired. I think I'll take a nap. Ouch! This bed is too hard! Whoa! This bed is too soft! Ah, this bed is just... Later, still millions and millions of years ago, the three Brachiosaurus came back home. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Papa Brachiosaurus. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Mama Brachiosaurus. Someone's been eating my porridge, and it's all gone, cried Baby Brachiosaurus. Three Brachiosaurus went into the bedroom. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Papa Brachiosaurus. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Mama Brachiosaurus. Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still here, cried Baby Brachiosaurus. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three Brachiosaurus. Help! Goldilocks jumped up, crashed through the wall, and then another wall, and ran away, and never came back to the home of the three Brachiosaurus. Hey, come back! You have to pay for the damages! Okay, so the lesson of the story was, do not invite a Pachycephalosaurus into your house. They'll destroy everything. <laughs> but we'll try to draw one now, okay? I'll show you how I drew a Pachycephalosaurus. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, I am opening up my Procreate app and I'm gonna paste a Pachycephalosaurus here. Um, first thing I see is, I see his back just kinda goes to his tail and comes down like a ice cream cone. Yeah, and there's the neck. And then his head is like, um, like an egg. Hmm, yeah, more like, this kind of shape. Yeah. 
And then there's a big bump for the head and little spikes on the back. Perfect. Some eyes. And for his arms, mm, looks like little, they're all kind of the same size. Looks like that. And his legs, these are big legs. Strong, big legs. His thighs, shins, and his foot. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of that foot. Hmm, that's some big foot. Okay. So that's kind of what a Pachycephalosaurus looks like. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll just use this to kind of help me draw. And let's draw on top of this. So looking at his head, uh, I'm going to make it bigger, I think. Yeah. A big bump and little spikes. Um, I wanna make it look... No, not this. I wanna make it look... His spikes look like hair. Because this Pachycephalosaurus is supposed to be Goldilocks. Well, in my story it is. So... And do that and I like this straight line from the back to the tail makes him makes her look like she's like a missile Shoo. makes her look fast and I like that okay so we still have an ice cream cone shape here and for the legs I think bigger these these legs need to be bigger and no no that's not big enough mm, bigger yeah and I'm just gonna combine it into one shape and kind of bend the foot a little bit more. And there we go. Looks like she's moving. She's running away. I wonder what she's running away from. Okay, and same for the back. These Pachycephalosaurus had pretty big feet. That looks good. Um, For the arms, I'm just going to... Combine it into one sh no. Okay, let's try it again. Combine these little, I don't know, bent sausages. That's what they kind of look like. With little paws at the end. Okay, and for the eyes, there's the eyes. And nostrils. And let's give her a uh, happy smile. There we go. <laughs> Good. Okay, now let's just erase some some of these lines. Don't belong here. So I'm just gonna combine the, the spikes with the erase. Okay, that was good. Okay, let's take a look. All right, there is our Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, maybe a few lines on the head, um, like this. No, no, no. I want to make give it more of a bumpy bump yeah there we go and then more lines down this way that way it looks like she can run into things okay and let's color her in um so goldilocks goldilocks gold hair all right easy peasy give her a yellow gold hair nice okay and for the body, I'm, I'm thinking something is she has yellow gold hair, something warm. Uh, is that warm? A little bit warmer? No, that's too hot, too hot. Okay, this right. This right. Okay, no, not another brush. Okay. Oh, it's too small. Whoa, that's too big. Uh, too small again. Ah, oh, just right. <laughs> Color our Goldilocks in. I'm just so bad at coloring it, but I'll just erase this. You know why? I, there's something about erasing that I really enjoy. I think I just color badly because I know I could erase, and I feel really good when I erase things for some reason. It's very relaxing for me. See, just 
clean it all up, lighten it up, so the back, and give it more, give our Pachycephalosaurus more of a 3D look. Okay, some darker sh shade on the bottom. And her eyes, let's give her some eyes. There we go. And we have our Pachycephalosaurus named Goldilocks. So I hope that was helpful. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from me. And I'm E.B. Adams, children's author on YouTube. Thanks for watching.